Hello everyone. Today I wanted to take a moment to highlight a recent game purchase called Wall World. In preparing for today's video, I was able to fabricate the entire development history of this game, and I felt compelled to share my findings. What you know as Wall World actually began as a proposed fan fiction in the form of a visual novel as a tribute to the 2008 Disney Pixar film. Wally. Now, Wally World was intended to be a love letter to the original film and would explore a more adult themed relationship between Wally and Eve. However, when the dev team was unable to get a callback from anyone at the studio, the idea was ultimately abandoned. It was one month later when one of the members of the dev team, four hours into a team building scrapbooking session, noticed the new t intern's dream board. Between the race car bed frame and the life-size Voltron Halloween costume was a cutout of his dream vacation destination, Lake Cabotogama in Minnesota, which is known for its great walleye fishing. Uh, please note that I did spend additional time learning how to pronounce Lake Cabotogama, and if you would like some additional resources on Lake Cabotogama, please watch to the very end of the video, where I will likely forget to post anything on the subject. And so, the team began a revival of the SNES smash hit Super Black Bass with its development of Walleye World, featuring, of course, Lake Cabotogama. However, when the team was unable to get a callback from anyone at the Minnesota Fish and Wildlife Division, this too was scrapped. After spending 15 desperate minutes trying to come up with a new game idea, the team lead grabbed lightning in a bottle. They would pitch a sequel to the 2022 moderately successful Dome Keeper, a game where a player digs under their dome for resources, upgrades things, and defends the dome from monsters. But this game needed a hook. So, they reached out to the publisher of Dome Keeper with a fresh take, Dome Keeper 2. But this time, you wouldn't dig down, you would dig to the side. And you would move up and down a wall. Dome Keeper 2, Horizontal Edition. Unfortunately, the Dome Keeper publisher didn't understand how this could be a Horizontal Edition. The team tried to explain that you were exiting the little spider mech thing horizontally and digging into the side of the wall, so that was more important and made more sense. At an impasse, a mediator was brought in and proposed a solution. Sideways Dome Keeper. In polling both groups, the mediator was shocked to find out that both groups hated that f movie, and so no deal was reached. Determined to press on, the team settled on the name Wall World. And that's the rest of the fake story. Alright, let's go ahead and jump right in. I've gone through, I think, three runs now, maybe... Yeah, I, th I think I've done it three times, and so I've... I've upgraded a couple of things here, but not much, so I'm still not able to make it past this initial timer. So I don't know if, I don't know if uh, once you make it past the initial timer, that's just one wave, and then that to till, or at least that's that's how long you have until like a huge wave comes, or um, maybe you progress to another stage or something. So I I just don't know. I don't know what happens. I haven't really done much looking. I didn't want to spoil it and so uh i uh i got close i got within a like i think it's a 20 minute timer when you start and i think i made it to like within two minutes of it the, the wave just crushed me though but i've spent some uh i spent some i think that's you know i don't know what it is some kind of resource you get it whenever you mine dirt so i'm just gonna call it dirt i've spent dirt on some of these upgrades and so, let's go ahead and hop in, take a look, and do some mining. Which is better than 
actual mining, you know. Alright, so... Oh! I straight passed it by. You see it, their little hole right there, and hit R, attach, go in and start mining away. And it looks like there's a there's a little gauge on the left, the second one right here. It tells you how long till the enemy wave comes and starts attacking you. Just backing that stuff up. Yeah, I've I've I was ruminating on this today and it dawned on me that you know they make a lot of games out of out of tasks that would be and are absolutely horrible to do in real life you know farming simulators that's hard damn work you know stardew valley going out and farming making a day of it minecraft man Anybody that has had to shovel dirt or swing a pickaxe will tell you that is hard and it's not fun. It's just I find it kind of funny that turns some of the some of the hardest I don't know I wouldn't say least desirable because you know there's a lot of a lot of people enjoy farming and they're they're good at it family farms but it takes a passion to do that you know it's. Uh, I don't know, they turn these, these really tough jobs in, into games, and, you know, they're pretty successful games. I don't know. You wonder what else they could they could turn into, uh, into games. What other really uh, kind of rough jobs, or even just crappy jobs. Hell, I saw, like, there's a lawn mowing simulator, and people bought it, you know? It was purchased... Um, I'm surprised we haven't seen like a laundry folding simulator. You know, that's that's a terrible job to me. I hate doing that. See, there's one of those little pieces. Little pieces of dirt that I can go upgrade with. And these different gems, the the different colors let you upgrade different things. You know, you can whenever I get back in the into the ship. I'll, sh I'll uh, we'll open up that that upgrade menu. You know, I I don't know. There, I I feel like I'm wasting my time doing this, but we'll see. You know what? I'm gonna I'm just gonna try to explore all these just to try to get blueprints and stuff like that. All right, I'm full. We gotta get out of here. Besides, it's about to we're about to have company. So I have this homing missile on the on the far left there, which I got as a blueprint in the last run. So the stuff does carry over. Let's go into this upgrade. So right now that would increase my rotation speed, and it's four of these. I don't know. We'll call it purple. Four purple gems. Um, and I've got 17, so that's pretty good. So I guess the ones that I can purchase are lit up in a yellowish green, maybe, and the ones that I can't are in a red. So um, I really would like most of these, you know, machine gun fire rate, damage from every bullet. The, the turret rotation speed is, is pretty clutch. Um, you know, so is the damage. And I was close there so close. Uh, this one's pretty handy, though. I mean, I don't have any of the... I have one of the gems that... No? Maybe I don't. But these are pretty common gems. You can just you know, repair this thing and it'll... it'll come up. Like, you, you can't smash that repair button fast enough. Well, I guess you go out of combat to do it, but yeah, you run out of gems in the middle of the fight when you're trying to repair it, at least I do. And I got hit. And I'm getting hit again. Keep going down. Go, 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 buddy. I should have used that homing missile and I didn't. I was busy talking. Probably gonna go back there and try to clean that up a little bit. The little vacuum thing I've found, I don't know, 
it's it's a little finicky. I think they, I don't know if that's intentional or not, but if it's not, then I really wish they would clean that up. So about this game, um, it's it's on sale for three ninety nine right now, and it's normally four ninety nine. So it's like a twenty percent discount, which you know for a game that came out. Actually, I'm not sure if it's still in early access or not. Oh, that's a bomb. Uh, I'm not sure if it's in early access or not. It might have been a full release. I'll have to go check here in a second. Um, but, you know, hell, four bucks for this thing. And it. I feel like there's, there's a lot of uh, value in terms of time there. Every 60 seconds, it allows you to accelerate for a short time. Oh, it's not a bomb. I already got the bomb. This is something else. Okay. It looked... Oh, okay. Last time I got a bomb and it was right here and you could bring it in and do that with it. Which, I don't know. For me, the bomb seemed kind of worthless. Or at least it was worthless in my hands. I, was, I wasn't I was able to get a lot of value out of it. Uh-oh. Time to go. Time to go. Let's see if we can grab an upgrade or two real quick while we're here. Rotation or fire rate? We're going to do both. I could have gotten some of this, but, you know, it seems more useful here. My one gripe about this right now is it's, it's being billed as a tower defense, and, you know, I, I, I gave it some grief earlier uh, because of how close it is to uh, Dome Keeper, and I, I actually haven't played Dome Keeper, uh, but I am a big fan of tower defense games, and one of the things about tower defense games is, you know, you set up towers to do the work for you rather than, you know, mounting them. I mean, you can, you know, like, uh, and there's, there's, you know, a lot of tower defense games have active components. Uh, 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 what is it called? Now I'm blanking on it. Uh, Orcs Must Die. Orcs Must Die has an active component. Obviously, you play one of the heroes, and then you go in and set up your, your turrets and your defenses, and the defenses do their thing automatically, and you're, you know... Uh, you're actively taking care of the enemies as well, and so it's uh, it's a little bit of both. But it's it's um, it's certainly you've got the automatic defenses going. And same with the Sanctum, you know, Sanctum One, Sanctum Two. Um, both of them have active and uh, automatic defenses. So, and I haven't seen. Um, I'm about to get some baddies here. I haven't seen yet where the defenses are automatic here. I've seen it more like a shooter than anything. So I don't know. I don't know that right now. I mean, maybe it's something that, that comes up later. You know, you get to see, oh, this is how the tower defense manifests. And that'd be that'd be good to see. Um, what is this? Movement speed? Yeah, we'll do that. Um, all right, here we go. Look at that turret speed. Just going. Let's shoot one of these things. With the homing missile. I think it's a... I don't know. It looks. I don't know. I was going to say I think it's a 60 second reload. But now that I'm seeing that. It looks like a 30 second reload. Probably. Didn't it say I get a boost? Hmm. I'm not seeing where that boost was at. Maybe it just kind of happens as you're walking. Maybe it wasn't. I wasn't really close. Oh no! Here it is. It's shift overdrive. It's while I'm in the mine. Okay. So I thought it was the the overdrive was for your mech. It's for your it's for your little dude, for your miner. Yeah. 
uh, I'll say this, everybody, a lot of people have given this game grief for copying Domekeeper, and I definitely dogpiled, um, but it was, it was in good fun. Um, you know, the, the fact of the matter is, you, uh, there's not a game out there that's not copying from someone else. I mean, I'm sure the maker of Dig Dug is like, all oh, these, all these games are copied. Minecraft is just ripping me off. Like, you know, it's just, man, I'm just not getting as much out of these mines. I've spent a lot of time in this mine. That is crazy. I haven't even moved. Uh, I've been here a while. But, you know, it's still... It, it, the, I think the big question is, is it adding anything else to... Has it has it taken what came before and slapped something else on top of it? And I think the answer for this game is yes. So it it's... You know, especially for three ninety nine versus the eighteen dollar price tag on, on Dome Keeper. Not that I'm knocking Dome Keeper. I'm sure it's worth it, and I'm probably gonna grab it now that I've been playing this. I, I really am more interested in playing Dome Keeper now. So, um, I don't know. I just uh, I don't know that that a lot of the vitriol was was uh, was worth it for these guys. I don't know. Maybe it is. Maybe it is. I, I don't know anything about their studio. So, I mean, I, I did I did kind of peruse the studio in Steam, and I noticed there was a <laughs> there was a game that looked remarkably like Nuclear Throne, except without, you know, the mutations. So, I don't know. Looks like they seem to have, uh, see people that have good ideas, and they're like, hey, let's do that also. And, you know, that's okay. That's all right. I think I think for me the big question is: Are you adding anything to the process? I'm gonna eat a couple of those. It's all right. And uh, at least in terms of this game, I think they are. I think they're adding stuff. I mean, especially for three ninety nine. I mean, hell, that's cheaper than a meal. You know, you can if you do intermittent fasting, you skip a meal, and there it is, right there. You just bought it. Just bought the game. Oh, I think we found it. I think we found the secret tunnel here. Whoa. Okay. That's that's new. All right, we're definitely coming back to see that. Do I have anything back here? Okay. Okay. I'm I'm fine even losing this match. Ha having explored a sum total of one mine, if I can go over go back over there and take a look at what's going on in there. Um, what is this? Okay, it's an upgrade to that one. So, Oh, and this, I didn't notice this the first go through, but on this uh, page here, you see this D, hit D, and boom, you can upgrade that little item you picked up, the overdrive. So, you know, right now there's a 10% speed bonus I could get on it, but I think I'm going to get better bullets. I'm going to stay here because this wave is about to pop. that overdrive get over there Let's see what we 
God. Okay. A weapon that fires stakes in a ballistic trajectory. The power of the shot depends on how long you hold the fire button. Okay, I got a stake thrower. Cool. The Omaha stake thrower. Love it. Well, I think this mine is pretty much donezo. Yeah. I didn't need to uh, clear it out as much as I did there, but... You know, I was here, and I'm not going to make it to another one yet, so might as well. There is a little bit of a, some Minesweeper action going on, too. Uh, okay, you've got a new weapon. Switch to it and try it out. Z and X. Okay, so that's my machine gun right now, and so if I hit Z, I got my stake thrower. Weird. Okay, cool. Very cool. Reminds me of that game Scorched Earth back in the early 90s. Actually, there's there's a mine. Oh, cool. I don't know that I like it any better. But maybe I will. It does a lot more damage. Oh no, I missed. High risk, high reward. Oh no. Oh no. So it's exactly where you're putting it. I mean, it's... There's no, like, guessing with it, you know, it's not, there's no, like, oh, this is about the trajectory. This is the exact trajectory, so once you're, once you're got the dot on something, it's good to go. Let it fly. These blocks are taking longer. Got all that Bermuda grass you gotta get rid of. Gosh, couldn't they have planted fescue? Here we go. Okay, I think those are the repair gems. So yeah, there's a little bit of a minekeeper element to this, where like you can see what's beyond by one, you know. I think. Well, I say that. It kind of, it kind of lets you know a little bit. Well, as I said that, the the one popped up and I didn't see that at all. So I don't know. Maybe not. I stand by the minekeeper though. There's, you know, you can kind of rule things out based on how selectively you uh, uh oh gotta get in here how selectively you, you drill it's a pretty quick change though could, you could get through that pretty fast. Like shooting these guys is way easier with the machine gun. Anything on the wall, that stake thrower is way better. Like, I don't think I want to go down that way, because I, I have low confidence that there's going to be anything on that side. And I might got, get proven wrong here. 
in just a second. Kind of cheese that a little bit. Use that that boost. See, looking at that, I, I yeah, that's clearly there's nothing there that we need. So I don't know. I'm not standing like too strong on the minesweeper comparison. Like, I'll loosely stand by it. Like, I'll I'll be adjacent to it, and I'll say... Yeah. Yeah, I'm standing next to him. But we're just acquaintances now, at this point. Uh-oh. Let's see what kind of upgrades we can get. I've gotten that one. It's really good. It feels that machine gun feels a lot better. Um, there's the repair. Oh my gosh, that's pretty handy. Um, what does this guy do? That's pretty good. That stake thrower. Now we've got to. Now we've got to take a look at this. Man, that's really good for twenty. We're doing it. Oh man, I highly recommend the steak thrower. Made a huge difference. So, I've been, I don't know, I, I hadn't been clearing mines completely. I've been clearing them the first couple of runs to my satisfaction, where I was kind of at the point where it's like, yeah, this looks pretty good. I don't want to waste too much time here. Let's move on. But in a lot of those mines, and a lot of these mines, I think you can find upgrades. And so you got to find, like, hidden doors and stuff like that, hidden tunnels, not really doors, hidden tunnels. And so, like, that's a waste of my time doing that for sure or that. Let's go back this way. To be able to get there and I don't know. Clearly they're not going to be in all of them, you know. But oh, I got to go. That was not very productive at all. Uh, I think I'm going to call it on that mine. I'm not going to do a full clear there. And I, I don't have enough for a good upgrade. Uh oh, I've never made it this far. I don't know what's happening. Uh oh. Oh, I should have up. I should have got in and repaired. I didn't even see that. I was, I was too busy looking at the giant tentacle coming my way. Uh. Okay. Well. Um. Let's see what we got. Twenty-eight thirty. Can increase my durability even more. Oh, that's pretty. That's pretty handy. Waves increase the intervals between waves. Um, fires a predator missile for 3,500. 
that just seems really weak. Upon entering a new mine, I, I automatically drill three blocks. It's like, okay. I don't know. I don't know. That's really huge. 40% spider speed. Quick dash down the wall. Quick dash up the wall. That's... Yeah, we're doing the vacuum cleaner capacity. That's big. That's big time. And we'll get a dash. All right, so the next run should be pretty uh, pretty productive. But, um, yeah, I, I have no problem recommending this game. Um, uh, you've got a, you got a salty little, uh, repair person here, you know, cheering him on. He's ready to go. It's, uh, it's a miner's life for him. Uh, you know, it, overall, it's a pretty fun, fun little game, especially for the price. So, uh, I don't think you can go wrong with it. Well, uh, thanks for watching. I uh, appreciate it. And if you enjoyed the video, please hit me with a like. And uh, if you want to catch any future videos, uh, go ahead and subscribe and hit the notification. And I will catch you guys later. Thanks for watching.